Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Medieval Remake. So then, it's time for us to return to the graveyard. Hmm. Oh! Whoopsies! I forgot the bridge broke. <laughs> I was gonna try to jump on one of the floating coffins. Because, yeah, there's a secret over here. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna get off that, thank you. Who's a clever skeleton, then? Remember that there are many more secret areas like this throughout the land of Galomir. Some offering more than just treasure. Also, this is one of my favorite level tracks from the original. I like how shiny the ground is. It looks all wet and muddy, like it just rained or something. Okay, then, uh... Charging guys really, really hurt. You know, I just realized that's why I was misremembering the bridge being broken the first time I came through here. It does break when you return to the graveyard. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Apparently they're worth a, uh, Book of Galamir entry. I'm not sure when I'll, like, really check those out. Like, I would kind of like to look at them now, but, you know, it's just kind of like... I don't want to, like, stop for, like, 10 or 15 minutes in the middle of an episode to, uh read all those, so I might just save it for after the game is done. I should have hit that before. Back to the sword for now. The 
living world lies beyond these skulls. Yeah, I can't go any further back this way. Can I sneak by them, I wonder? Hi, Wolfies. Yeah, that didn't go so well. We're about to get the chalice. Rather, we almost have enough souls to get the chalice, I should say. Wait, I hear a zombie. Oh, they're up there. Wait, did it just, like, transition there? Huh. Seriously, the grass in this game just looks beautiful. Like, if there's something in this game that keeps, like, catching my eye visually, it's definitely the grass in some areas. It just looks so good. Okay, there's the chalice. Oh, yeah, doesn't this, um... Wait. Yeah, don't they drop the, uh, charging zombies on you here, if I remember correctly? Yes, they do! Speaking of charging... Wow. Yeah, you know, I finally decided maybe I should use my shield against them. I, like, n almost never really utilized the shield in Medieval much, I don't think. The remake, though, it seems really useful for, uh, guarding against those zombies. Hey, wait a minute. I want that. Oh, I thought it was a life bottle. Still, energy vial is appreciated. I think that's it, right? I thought there were two of them. Oh shoot, I missed the chalice. Well, I'll have to come back in here and get that then. Oh, 
I'm sure that there was like... Huh. I guess I skipped it somehow. Let's do this, mutts. So I hear that this boss is actually quite a bit different from in the original. I would say it definitely is. I've heard it's easier, and it's definitely easier. <laughs> Got him. They are a little tricky to hit, though. There, I got him again. Okay, I got one. Oh, the last one just goes berserk, I guess. is no way to get back over there. I I guess I somehow missed it. <laughs> All has changed outside the necropolis. Pearls go this way, pearls go that way. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn and over every hill. Bon voyage. Well, we just gotta be careful then, don't we? Ah, there's Scarecrow Fields. Okay, well, I am gonna jump back in here and get the chalice. Probably shouldn't have made use of this before. Also, apparently I forgot to open this. Want to be faster on your feet? Want to be able to bash down walls by charging into them? All you have to do is defeat the evil guardians of the graveyard and gain this new ability. You will never know why you left the grave without it. Wait. Actually, wait, that's a good question. How exactly do you dash? Oh, it's R1! Okay. Why did I even think to try that yet? It's like in the original game, uh, triangle is the dash button. But yeah, it's like... It didn't even occur to me that I get dash after... Like, I mean, I, I knew it, it's just like... While playing, like, it didn't even occur to me that you get dash, you know, after defeating those bosses. I hadn't even thought to, like, try it out yet. I was like, oh, wait a minute, how do you dash? <laughs> and how do you get up there, seriously? Like, I don't remember having trouble getting up there in the original. Did, did they change that or something? Like, I thought it was mandatory in the original, but I don't know, like, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Oh yeah, by the way, I got spoiled on something, um, in regards to one of the unlockables in this game. I'm not gonna say what it is. You guys will find out, but it's pretty interesting. Also, wait, there's two pads in there. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? It was that simple. Man, those guys hurt. Okay, I could definitely use that. it back. Let's go get that chalice. Awesome. Wait a sec. Hold on. I should use the bow against these guys, shouldn't I? Still not too effective. <laughs> like, even the shield wasn't really working against them before. Oh, you don't. Where is he? There's another, I'm sure of it. Yeah. He's gonna run back out here again. Oh, he's right there! Oh! No, 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 no. Okay, I think we're safe. All has changed. Okay, and that's the level finished proper. Chaps, Wagent Zarok would be using your ribcage as a toast rack for now, but I knew you'd pull through. Here, I have a little extra something here I can give you. Could help the old quest. You want it? All right, then. I do want to leave. Gotta get back to our quest. I have plenty of time to spend there later. Alright, so at this point... Yeah, we actually have two choices of places to go to. We can go to Scarecrow Fields... Or... Go to... Actually, I think there's like three places we can go to. We can go to the Enchanted Earth, Scarecrow Fields, or... I don't know, it's just two ways to get there. Okay. Anyway, we're actually going to be going to the Enchanted Earth next. <laughs> 